Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and I'm here at the JCB Kevin Quarry with Georgina, aka JCB Digger Girl. JCB here with a new mm -hmm. backhoe loader, but I'm stood next to a rugby laser from Leica Geosystems. Why, Georgina? Well, as part of our new upgrades that we've made to the backhoe loader, one of the big things that we've had to focus on is ease of use. Yep. How to make life easier for the operator in the cab. We know there's some exceptional backhoe operators out there, uh, but we just wanted to create a more attractive product for the younger generation coming through. And just generally for anybody on these machines, this kit is going to be really good. So we have created a basically a very simple piece of tech, which is a mounting bracket yep. on the front end of the machine to be able to put your grading kit on there. Leica is a great option. It does fit with other solutions as well, but essentially it is a 2D laser grading ready mounting pole that you can put on the front end of your backhoe loader. Which is fantastic. Mm. Now, you told me earlier, and this mm. is really important folks, that you tested it out. Yeah. And so we talk a lot about grading and things like that when it comes to materials, expensive yeah. stone and things like that. And you were saying to me mm -hmm. that you had saved stone when yeah. you were testing it out for yourself. That was something that really quite shocked you, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. And the reality is the front end of a backhoe loader is a hard skill to master. Right. You don't have the best visibility in the cab. It's very much about feel and it's about, you know, feeling it and feeling the grades. It's about getting your levels and, and correcting your front end as you drive. And that comes over time. You're only going to get that by hours in the seat. Yep. So we wanted to be able to implement changes to the product that were going to help with that. Yep. And this was one of them. So when I took it out and tested it, I set myself a task. <laughs> Grade off an area, yep. you know, 10 meters by 10 meters that wasn't already level. I had some stone push out that stone to create a level, you know, 100 square meter, nice fresh car park or whatever it would be. Yep, yep. And I did it first on a manual controlled machine without any of the new features that we've introduced. I got so stressed. I was I was in and out the cab. I was up and down. I was looking right a bit high over there, a bit low over there, back in the cab. I ran out of stone. I didn't I couldn't I didn't have enough for the area because I was too high over here. The more I drove over it, the more I made a mess of it. Right. So, so it was an absolute disaster, mm, you know. Yes. And, and and you've been driving them around for quite a while well, now, have, you know, yeah. you're a bit more experience than, than someone just yeah. jumping into the I'd cab. I'd say I'm a, yeah, I'm from a medium level operator. Yeah. I'm not the most experienced. I'm not out on them every day. But yeah. I'm I'm learning. Yeah. And in that moment I was a little bit demotivated. So with this new kit I had a go with it. Yep. I set another feature we've introduced now is a return to grade right. where you can okay. set the front uh, shovel, open up the clamshell, roll it all the way forward, and it stops you out in that optimum grading position. Right. So it's almost like getting the grading blade. Yeah, getting right, the grading blade exactly such. where yeah, you want yeah, it. Yeah. Um, and then you got it talking to the Leica kit. I got this set up in a few minutes, got it talking, and the experience was completely changed for me. I pushed out the stone. I had confidence in what I was doing because it's not about my eye or my feel. It's about looking at the lights yep. and it's talking to the receiver and it's telling me up a bit, down a bit. It's still manually controlled by me, so I'm still feeling it, yep. but I'm pushing it out. And as I'm doing it, I'm building my confidence as an operator too, yeah, yeah, yeah. to then start be able to build up an eye for levels to a point where I'm more confident as an operator. So pushed out the stone had just enough stone. If I didn't have this kit, I would have had to order in some more stone because right. I'd have thinking, hey, I've not got enough here. Yeah, yeah, in yeah. reality, I did have enough stone. Yeah. I just didn't quite get my levels right. So yeah, within 10 mils degree accuracy, yep. um, which, you know, as a sort of still fairly medium level operator, I was pretty chuffed with that. <laughs> um, and also I did the job 25% quicker. I took the metrics, 25% time and saved. Fuel. Yeah, and less less fuel as yeah. well. And, you know, with the new machine, you know, yeah. we've got um, also the ability now for you to, to drive forward with yeah. the, the, at the at the back oh. as such, where the hoe is. Game so changer. literally you, you can now move yeah. that as well. So when you're talking about the uses of grading and different types yeah. of jobs, you know, digging, then grading again, that becomes more of a yeah. utility machine than it was before. And Absolutely. you'll see behind us, folks, just here, um, that's where what we're talking about. So yep. let's go and have a closer look mm. to this system here. So, so yeah, you'd open up your clamshell, yep. set your level, yep. get that talking to the receiver there. Yep. At the minute you can see it's sort of flashing the green light. It's sort of changing a little bit between the, the red lights, but yep. you can see that from in the cab. So right. perfect visibility. You're looking down at it. It's telling you up a bit, down a bit and setting your level. So yeah, 
really, and that's really makes so, life easier. That's, so visibly in front of you, you've got it in the cab as well, mm. on the screen. And so, folks, we've got a backhoe loader here. I know what's really important about this as well is it is the latest model. Mm -hmm. And tell me about some of the other features that yeah. you have added to this that's going to help yeah. the operator and also the training program yeah. that uh, you've launched and that continues into 2024. Yeah, yeah. So it's all about ease of use. Yeah. Everything we've introduced has been about ease of use. We've launched new Easy Forks, which is a new upgrade to the integrated Quick Hitch Fork option. Much easier to deploy, much safer to deploy, yep. uh, and a new camera option with that as well. You go from absolutely zero visibility of those fork tips at ground level, yep. chasing around pallets, looking like a fool on site, feeling like you don't know what you're doing, yep. or needing someone on the ground to be able to point you where to go, to now none of that, straight up to a pallet, fork straight in on the screen Dead easy. again yeah, on yeah. the screen in the cab so that's a that's a brilliant uh change we've now got an fnr drive control right. forward and reverse on the joystick right so Straight. you know just yep. easier and simpler much more comfortable to operate we've also introduced the dual drive and that's the big one so the ability to drive the machine when facing out the back end we know it's going to make a huge difference when when you're ditching, yep, um, yep. you know, when you're, say you're backfilling a trench with a little bit of sand, sprinkling it in, mm. grab it from the bucket, you're essentially operating the machine like a wheeled excavator. Yes, exactly. It's yeah, a yeah, really, yeah. you know, I don't, I think I'm really looking forward to getting these products out there and seeing how people use them. Yep. We've just now made it easier for the customer to access that technology and standard from on the, the 3CX Pro right. and the 4CX Pro. So if you order a Pro, yep. it will have dual drive. You don't have to pay extra for it, standard on the there. Pro. And that's important to me that we get this feature out there and get people realizing how great it is. So this is the new Baco loader. And folks, it's definitely making the grade now. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you.